Hi and uh, goodbye Windows, I'm going to switch to Linux and today I'm first going to tell you why. So I'm going to be talking about several reasons, namely compatibility, efficiency, customization, uh, open source nature and others. So first of all is the Russian invasion of Ukraine aka the desire to use as little energy as possible. You see, Russia, and to be exact, Vladov Budokoshny has gone a full megalomaniac and no one wants to support him, myself included. But where do we get all of our energy from? Russia, since 2002. Now of course the Netherlands and other European countries are intending to replace Russian gas with American LNG. But that isn't entirely environmentally friendly so the state also encourages anyone who can do so to use as little energy as possible. Now we all know the way to do so, uh, you know, turning down the heat, uh, turning off the lights when you don't need them, but the most important uh, energy user in most households is the computer. Now most computers run Windows uh, and Windows isn't exactly known for being an efficient operating system. On idle say I already get about 4% of CPU use in spikes and that can be very straining to the energy usage. So I'm going to use Linux because it's far more efficient than Windows. Now the second reason also has to deal with this and it is a low system requirement. All we really need for Linux is one gig or less of RAM and I already have four gig. Uh, while Windows 10 on 64 bit already requires two gigs of RAM which can make certain applications run very slow, especially those that require quite a bit of RAM. I'm hoping they'll run much faster on Linux. Another reason is stability. The Linux kernel is very well known for not crashing. Uh, applications are also rock solid on Linux and even if one does crash it is almost impossible to take the entire operating system down with it. Now under Windows I've had quite a lot of application crashes in my life and my computer even beat right in front of me once. And another time I even had to reinstall the entire operating system due to the computer not being able to boot up. Now under Linux I hope if everything goes right and I use the system wisely these problems will be gone. And even if there are problems, there is a great community of users out there that can help me out instead of just a few companies willing to make profits. Oh, and another reason related to tech support, if I use Linux instead of Windows, I'll be pretty much immune to the Microsoft tech support scam. This blends straight into safety because there aren't that many Linux viruses either and many Linux viruses that they are don't target individual PCs but rather vital infrastructure and servers. So I'm going to be pretty safe using Linux instead of Windows even though it is not required to install an antivirus on Linux. A related reason is privacy. You know Windows tracks everyone who uses it. Even if you don't accept cookies, Windows will know what you are doing and Microsoft will create personal items using it. If not now, one day they will. But Linux is all based around privacy, meaning that it's very hard for even programs to track you. And if they do, I can always have a look at what they know about me through uh, the terminal if I know what everything means. I can see what is going in and out of the computer. And another reason is the open source nature of Linux. What does open source mean? Well anyone can have a look at the source code and improve it as they see fit. And this is very important not only for security reasons but also for stability reasons. Any bugs that are probably going to be there will be taken out by other members of the community. In fact it is for this reason that I use quite a lot of open source software on Windows like OpenOffice instead of Microsoft Office and Inkscape and GIMP instead of Photoshop. Also open source programs are usually free to use and they are abundant on Linux. Now there are several other reasons uh, to choose Linux but these are my most important ones. In the next part I'm going to be looking at the installation process. See you next time, bye! I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you do please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.